going on? That's all I'm Brian K. Bullet the Kid. Uh, this is going to be kind of like the open air. Uh, this is what you're going to hear in the room type of thing. If you have an amplifier or a drum module or a, uh, not a drum module, a drum monitor in your room amplifying your electric drum kit. This is an Alesis Nitro Max 8-piece drum kit. I uh, did the first video where I, I assembled everything, but I did not play it. So this is going to be a three-part thing. So what I'm going to end up doing is this is going to be the open air version and I'm going to run through all the kits and all that stuff. And then I'm going to run it to a DI, set that up and then uh, do a whole DI. So you will hear what it sounds like with the uh, direct audio going from this kit to whatever software you're using to record. So that's going to be uh, the third part of this video. I don't know that I'm going to go into all the different stuff that it can do as far as play modes and all that good stuff. But at the very minimum, I have two more videos, this one and the next one that are going to be coming out doing this on the uh, on the kit. This kit is for my babies. Uh, they wanted to learn how to play or my oldest wanted to learn how to play. This is the kit that I'm giving him to start on and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. So, yeah. So we'll start with the kit number one. Uh, it doesn't have a name for the kit, it just says Kit 01. So. This is kit number two. No choke. No choke. But I can close it. So this is a uh, one zone with a choke. This is a single zone. Single zone. Where you play on the top or through it, doesn't matter. You hit it, this is the sound you get. That's it, so. And this is a single zone, there is no outer rim, so. Okay, so on the snare, if you do hit the uh, outer rim, um, it does the sound, but if you try to play it like you would normally play a snare, it's very inconsistent. It's not a big deal. Should have started with all that information on the first video, but we got it now, so it's all good. Uh, that was drum kit two, which I feel like is probably a jazz joint. Uh, this is drum kit number three. So I'm thinking it's gonna be like a power ballad 80s type of joint. Yeah, this is a big drum set. Yeah. 
all the bangers, I guess. So that's three. So all the big sound kits, all that stuff. <laughs> This is kit number four. Also, this could sound different depending on what amp model I'm using in this. So take this sound that you're hearing with a grain of salt. What is really going to sound like is going to come through whenever I do the DI, but for this, I forgot that there's different amp models on this uh, drum monitor. So let me let me just mess around with that just so you know. So let's see. Yeah. There was a way for me to flatten it all out. What does drive do? Jesus. Okay, no drive. What does this do? That sounds kind of more real. So let's mess with that. Let's go with that a little bit. Okay, so game was out. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's go back to one, see what that does now. Okay, this is kit number five, and I'm slow down now that I ran through and got the sound I wanted out of the amp. Um, kit number five. Okay. Okay, so this is like a funk type of deal. Yeah, this is like a, yeah, you want me to do it. That's what you want. <laughs> I like that kid. Okay. Sorry if I'm getting a little too wild. This is, I like playing drum. Uh kid number six.
Okay. Seven. Yeah, this is supposed to be an arena thing. Uh, what should I play? I'm so used to my other kid. Uh, we're not gonna take it. That's the song I was thinking about. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this is kid number eight. to this foot pedal either. A lot of tuning needs to happen <laughs> and also I'm out of I'm out of shape as far as drumming goes. Yeah. Again, this is not mine. Talking to myself, not talking to you. All right, number nine. Go to number 10. Tighten stuff up because <laughs> this was about to fall off. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I need to. This is still not <laughs> locked in. <laughs> I was like, why does it feel like it's about to break? That's why it feels like it's about to break because it's about to slide up. So, yeah, I got to tighten that down. Okay, so this is something that I didn't know. And I just found that out now, and it could just be this drum kit. Uh, okay, noted. That's drum kit number 10. was just that drum kit. Okay. Okay. 
Drum kit 11, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder how that sounds, D.I. So Zydeco, that's what that was. Yeah, man. Okay, this is 13. I like this one. This is third. That was thirteen. This is fourteen. Okay, sassy. That was 14 with the side stick. I'm sure they got the whole names of all of these. Uh, and the, uh, I'm pretty sure they have the names for all of these somewhere in here. What they're going for. And I did not read it, did not think about it. Just got on here and just started getting down. I'm sure it's somewhere. It's got to be. It's like a song list of what it is set up. Looking it over, I don't see it. Configurations. Nope. It's not in the. It's not over there. Anyway, that was 14. It's 15. use it for but it's pretty it's pretty different <laughs> this is number 17 last one was 16 obviously so 17 Big sounds. That's a lot of 
lot of big sounds. Uh, 18. So, if I knew how to play it, maybe. 22. Orchestra. That's a bass drum on that one. That's interesting. Interesting, and I'm I'm really gonna have to. Maybe I'm playing these too hard. Maybe, maybe I'm playing these too hard. I have to lock these down. It's good. They're not like wobbling all over the dang place when I. So that's good. Other than this sliding out because I haven't locked it in place, it still got play. So let's push you down. Let's push you. Oh, you good? Y'all all good? So, um, this is 23. How many kids do they have on here? Twenty-five. 
Okay, 26. This is 27. This is a different day, had some stuff I had to do. And I found out later, whenever I finished this video, it stopped recording at, I think, hit 29. So I'm gonna pick up there and ride this thing on out. I do not know how many kits are on here. Oh, beautiful. So there's 32 and then it starts going into user kits. So there's that. So I'm gonna start at 29. Kick a few grooves and then finish it on out. And uh, yeah, the next video is gonna, that's going to come out, I've already said it, is going to be a DI version. So it will uh, it probably will be in the other room. And um, yeah, I got to figure out how to shoot that and stuff. So I might put the rolling out of the way and then throw this where it's supposed to, where that is, and then shoot that way. But it'll be the DI version. And uh, y'all stay tuned for that one. Let's go ahead and finish this bad boy here. And uh, I'm sweating because I turned the AC off so it doesn't have any background noise. But yeah, this is kit 29. Single zone, single zone. Single zone with a choke. All right, so that was 29. Here is 30. sounds like
this to you, baby. <laughs> okay. And then this is the user kit. So you can set them up however you want to. Um, yeah, but I'd, I'd have to get into that to set up whatever it was. But those are the kits. 32, 31, 30. Yeah, so I ran through it twice. It did some user stuff at the very end. Just when my icon went up, I was like, what? Anyway, but that is, that's all apparently 32 kits that are on the Elises. I did some grooves with them. This was a long video, but if you're gonna do it, do it, you know? So hopefully y'all like this. Again, this is my little boy's kit. Uh, so he'll be learning how to play and I might make him a little channel as he learns and starts doing cover songs and stuff like that. I think it'd be cool. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I've been Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. Y'all be easy.